Divas. Welcome to this new video about the Divus Heartbeat. Today I will show you the setup procedure which appears only the first time you connect to the Heartbeat. We already connected all the devices. If you missed it, you can go back and watch that video before and then come back. When you turn on the Heartbeat, pushing the two power buttons on its back, right side if seen from the front, it will start to boot and you will know by the acoustic signal when it's done. We can connect our PC to the Divo's secure intranet using one of the ports of the switch. We are going to call the Heartbeat not by its IP address, but by its host name. In the address bar of the browser, we will enter https colon double slash d heartbeat minus heartbeat. The first time we do that, the Heartbeat will directly jump to a special page and start a setup procedure where the main properties of the heartbeat and its network are configured step by step. Before it starts, you will be asked to choose your language. The first page is a short introduction. When we press next, the setup will start. This is the user license agreement, which should be read and then accepted. Let's move on. The system integrator details is a form which should be filled out completely because that data will appear in the reports which will be generated later on. But anyhow, it is necessary to fill out all the fields marked with a star. The email address entered here will be used as a recipient for the reports, if the cloud storage option is enabled. We will find that option in one of the following steps. The password will be used immediately after the conclusion of this setup, to log in to the heartbeat. So please, don't forget it. Next, we will fill out the client details. This page is similar to the previous, and the same things said there also apply here, but obviously the subject changes. Project setup allows to insert the project's name. The host name may also be changed, but it's not necessary. The D heartbeat minus part will be added in front automatically if missing. If you use a local domain, you may insert it here. Otherwise, you can leave it unchanged. If necessary, choose your time zone and your language. The checkbox about the Divus Cloud, which I mentioned before, should be checked if you want to obtain the reports per email because they are not sent directly from the heartbeat but through a cloud server. The next page is for the configuration of the Divus Secure Intranet Network. To fully take advantage of the Heartbeat's features, you should leave this setting on Auto Configuration and only in special cases switch to Manual Configuration. On the next page, the network settings are about the residential intercom. Keep in mind that that is a completely separate network. So, depending on whether you have a DHCP server in this network, want the Heartbeat to play that role, or want to set everything up manually, set the configuration accordingly. That's it, the settings are now completed. This last page shows us the usernames and passwords one last time. To apply the changes, the heartbeat must be restarted. We click on the reboot button and wait. The last step of this one-time procedure will be due after the reboot. The first network scan will then be started automatically. This may also take a longer time, depending on the amount of connected devices. Once also the scan is done, the wizard will jump to its arrival page and show the result. The first report will show a nice graphical scheme with all the recognized devices on their respective ports with their names if available and their IP addresses and MAC addresses. Below you will find the same data in tabular form as well as the details to the single devices. Detailed info is available only for Divus devices. I can open the PDF file and download it. I will also receive it by email if the cloud storage was enabled before. Now the heartbeat knows about its network and can manage it optimally. And you can too. Have fun! Divas.